All right, all right, I get yes. it, I get it. Listen, one of my favorite things in recent times, the pieces, it's it's the HOA. It's the, oh, okay. the, the Day One song, Tori Such Pudwell, thank you piece. I, it, it was so good. Thank These you. guys not only were skating just neighborhoods, but they yeah. were killing <laughs> it. Uh, and you got some yeah. just a little GAs in there, little guest appearances. I do have, yeah, some guest appearances Little, in little there. Chad Muska, That's little right. Rodney Mullen, huh? Yeah. Throw them in there. But yeah, that was yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was great. It was great. Thank you. Ideas for that? I mean, was it? Um, are you like searching for the right neighborhood? Is it different neighborhoods? Are you just like? Um, is it spot searching essentially? It's you know what? It's a mix. Like I think I'm trying to think how to how to describe it. But okay, go ahead. I, everything I think that I do kind of bleeds into the next thing. So this is is kind of derivative of the piece that i did with austin gillette in 2012 yeah, we'll, we'll talk about yeah, that for quick. quick yeah and what that was was it, same kind of questions though spot searching for sure and it is i'm i am i'm like my personality i, I have like a personality that's always searching i'm always looking for like the net where's like the best sandwich like i mean anything like, <laughs> like you know like I, like I've, i went to this one that someone says the best but there's got to be a better one like it's spots it's music it's artists it's um it's design it's furniture it's like whatever i'm into i go down that weird rabbit hole of like i gotta keep looking yeah. so then it just becomes part of my everyday habits so for instance like the locations in this um some of these were things that i had had on my radar since the thing with austin that we either a never filmed at or we went to and he wasn't into and at a certain point i was like well uh, the th like and the, and then going back before that, the thing I did with Austin, those spots were just things that I would be seeing driving, and was always thinking, oh, man, it'd be sick to just do something from a car on the side of the road at mm -hmm. these these kind of like spots that they're like spots, but they're not spots. And uh, just to go back to okay. quick, really quick, yeah, mm -hmm. back to quick, really quick, because uh, we're on HOA, but but yeah. the fact that you're driving by, seeing these spots, and now you're filming them yeah. driving, yeah, it's it pretty pretty interesting definitely. yeah i mean because there's something there's something like you know when you're driving and you see a spot and you're like whoa what was that you know like it's a quickness it's a quick it's a it's a thing yep. like that it's just fun as a skateboarder to like these things catch your eye mm -hmm. and you can be in an in an industrial neighborhood or downtown anywhere. or anywhere. now you're driving yeah. by with a skater skating the spot for sure so this so hoa was kind of like a, a, a variation on that thing with austin and I, again though i'd had this idea for eons where i was like okay it would be rad to do something like I did with Austin, but then like only do it in like residential neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. And so instead of, because we all know how hard it is to find spots in residential neighborhoods too. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I, and I, and I thought like, well, all the stuff you skate when you first start skating is residential neighborhoods. It's curb cuts and little bumps and someone's got a weird driveway down the yeah. street. And, and so I wanted to do something that was all in front of houses or apartments. By the way, Quick was like, this was 10, these are 10 years apart. They are almost. 10 years apart, yeah, right. pretty much. And and then another thing I wanted to do though is because, you know, a lot of people do skate, um, you know, like the weekend guys, right? They film a lot in front of like apartments or houses and stuff, but there's like a, a start and stop nature to that stuff. It's like, you put your board down, you only got one push, you do the rail and you stop. And I wanted to keep that kind of continuous movement like I had done with Austin, because I thought for me as a skateboarder, I like movement now, especially as I, I always liked it, but then you get older, I'm like, damn, I just want to see dudes like push and like mash at shit and totally. like skate. And so, so this one was still kind of applying those same principles of like, I want to keep moving a lot. Um, and then in terms of like the types of neighborhoods, I did definitely, we filmed in a lot of kind of affluent neighborhoods and that was kind of like a, a nod to like Ferris Bueller, okay. really, okay. right? You know, like, <laughs> okay. like I love Ferris Bueller's Day Off yeah. and, and, you know, that whole sequence of him running home at the end, trying to get, you know, home and he's running through yards and jumping over fences and shit. Um, there's something really fun about that. And so I wanted to mostly shoot in these kind of neighborhoods that were kind of like skateboarding. You don't see it there with mansions in the background. It's just not a thing that you totally. normally see. So there was something kind of fun to me about flipping it on its head and be like, oh, well, I'm not going to skate like the, the the curb cut in front of the little like apartment complex. I'm like, yeah. we're going to like the fucking bougie neighborhood. Yeah. And, we're we're going to go skate in front of this $18 million house. Exactly. And it was during COVID. Uh, so oh, you, could, it you could, it made it a little bit easier because most people 
weren't trying to come outside and say shit. Yeah. Right. Did you get um, any people coming out you saying anything? We t well, we got one person coming out. There's a shot. It's like yeah, probably my favorite flip. shot. Yeah, Tori's switch front side flip over that. The oh, yeah, where right. the sprinklers are on. Yeah. The sprinklers were a passive attempt at kicking us out. So the, <laughs> the guy, the fact that he rolled, go, please, yeah, go, yeah, go yeah, ahead, no, go ahead. No, go I, ahead. I, I love that. I love that shot. So, yeah. we, so we're filming it, and Tori's getting close, getting close, but he's not putting it down. The dude comes home, um, pulls in his driveway, and doesn't come out. And so we're like, yes, like he didn't come out. Like he doesn't care. Like we're on the sidewalk. Like, you know, we're j rationalizing in our head. Like, <laughs> like oh, he doesn't care. <laughs> sure, yeah. Sure enough, sprinklers come on. And uh, we're like, no, nah, he didn't like, again, though, still kind of being like, oh man, like they're on the automatic timer or whatever. <laughs> but um, nah, next thing I know, I see a little like window blind, like, whoosh, you know, like he's looking out the <laughs> yeah. window and then he comes and then he sees us not Sounds stopping. Sick. And uh, and he comes out and he's like, look, I don't, I can't. something to the effect of like, look, man, I don't care uh, if you guys skate here, but my wife's going to be home in like 30 put it on his wife she's gonna be home in 30 minutes and if she sees you skating out here like she's not gonna be happy right. and so we uh so yeah so so the sprinklers came on and as you guys know skating like wet anything is the worst i love that he rides through oh dude dude kill that was that, that was spot, amazing that's actually a really sick spot it right? is yeah. but it looks gnarly too it is. <laughs> um it's i mean he did it as perfect as you're gonna get and this was another one of those like similar with miles like the, the sidewalk and his shoes and stuff were just getting to that point where it's like, how many more tries can you actually do this and mm -hmm. be successful? Cause that's it, one of my favorite shots in the whole thing. Uh, same by, here. By the way, same here. Yeah, when, yeah. when we got it, I was like elated. Cause I wanted to thank the dude. I'm like, dude, you just upped the production value. Yeah. So much. <laughs> like, the sprinklers, like it looks like, you know, it looks like set design at what that an point. Asshole, man. Um, but we got just it. Just because he doesn't want to skating a sidewalk, which in front was of so his crazy. Yeah. Which exactly, we were like, man, this. I'm is... not surprised to hear that. It's Southern I mean, California, it's like, still, yeah. you know it I mean? still boggles my mind. Yeah. You know it what I mean? Boggles like, me that he totally. put it on his mom or on his wife. Yeah. That was weird. That was a weird. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he's all, she'll be home, and she's not. And I was kind of like, relax, What's your wife buddy. like? Like you know, like, <laughs> she's gonna like see us. Like um, <laughs> the one thing that I. Oh, go, go, please go ahead. No, I, I just want to talk about the, the guest appearances really quick. Yeah, yeah. you had Muska in there. Yep. Raj, we need to find the Muska part. He's watering rocks. You What's going what? on? Where well, there's no grass there. <laughs> Muska, he, I think he had like an environmentally friendly landscape, right? You know, that, like a low. So that water. was his house. That was his house. Um, mm. So what it was was uh, Day One and Tori. You know, the whole premise <laughs> behind their brand is thank you, which is like saying thank you to skateboarding. Yeah. yeah. And so you know, Chad gave Tori his first big break and Rodney gave Daywan his first big break. And so, oh, yeah. and so as a nod to them, and since we were doing this thing in residential neighborhoods, they're both homeowners now. Mm -hmm. And so they could both be doing homeowner type things. So unfortunately, Chad looks like he's watering rocks, but as he's walking that wall, there are some like palms and stuff at the end. But I think the section that I used is just because where I was crossing his, you know, path oh, filming. The first time I watched this, I was like, he's watering rocks. Yeah, yeah. He's going on, but he, what's going on with the musk? To, to his credit, he was walking to water the palms and stuff at the end of the, oh, you yeah. know, <laughs> of the, the area there. So he wasn't just watering uh, the rocks. Because even I would have been like, wait, that's weird. Let's not water the rocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think just where I chose to use the shot where you could really kind of tell it was Chad. Right. It just kind of lined up with that. It was good, right. man. The, the, the thing that I, I love too is, uh, so you had Rodney Mullen... Uh, the take the trash. Him. So I thought this was your house and you just got Rodney Mullen to take the trash barrels in for you. Gotcha. No, it's Rodney's <laughs> house. I guess I'm like, yeah, I'm like outing them right now. Well, yeah. <laughs> Chad lives, Chad lives in Ohio. Yeah. And I was pretty conscious when I was filming these things to like not, not give up location. any sort of right, like recognizable right, right. features. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, Rodney, it was one of these things where I think I had filmed with day one, uh, and the sun was going down and I had to get to Rod. Like there was like a very brief window, like Rodney's available. Like, um, and I got there and see how like he steps into the light like that. Like yeah. he's in shadow. It was like perfect. Wow. This was like second try. And then, uh, I was like, we got it. And he's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, we got it. And I was like, I was a little bit shocked because it, it just worked out just, just perfect. right. I yeah. love the phone call. Listen, Rodney. I got this idea. We're doing this thing with Tori. Yeah, I just need you to bring in the trash. Pretty barrels. much. I, was like, well, <laughs> I just need easy. you to bring the trash. I just said in. I need you to do something domestic, and oh, I didn't know what God. it was going to be, you know. And he's like, "What?" And I was like, oh, "I could be like I didn't know what his house was about, you know. It could be in like the garden or like mm -hmm. watering or do, you know." Um, so yeah, luckily I, I want to say when I got there, it was again the sun setting, and I'm like, "Oh, uh, how about we put the trash cans at the curb and you just take a trash can down?" It worked out beautifully. Yeah. 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 Again, this is one of my favorite pieces that have come out in the last Thank couple you. years. I, I it's so. Just that switch frontside flip Amazing. that Tori did through the, through the water sure. over this bump to bump. For I was sure. like, 
oh my god mm-hmm. the way that he caught it yep. front foot dangling a little I'm, picture perfect all of it was yeah. really good man even day one all the day one stuff was it was incredible i mean day yeah. one just doing day one is for sure amazing i uh there, there's like a kickflip at the end that tori does down this massive set of stairs yeah. and it goes down again another yeah, always set. another one yeah and that one was another spot so that's an echo park um dude that spot had been on the radar for 15 years or something like i'd be going on walks with my wife and we end up you know just on like little stair sets tori and stuff it, bro. and i would be like this is the only time, and the re- reason why this one in particular was on my radar is because I could track with him sideways right here, right? Oh, okay. And I'm on the same eye line as him when he leaves and then he goes below me. Mm. That is impossible architecture to find in today's day and age. <laughs> Nobody builds, look at, there's no handrail obscuring him from me. Interesting. There's no, like, there's no railing obscuring him. Ooh, like, this isn't up to code, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You can talk to the no, city about that. Yeah. These are the type of tweaky things that I'll see in my head where I'm like, you know, because Tori's like, oh, I got another, you know, stair set. I'm like, nope, right. it's this, this one. Like, it's got to be this <laughs> one. Like, yeah. like, we can't replicate this. I mean, I'm sure it does exist somewhere else. Yeah. Where? I don't know. Like, but th- there was things like that where there was a few spots that had been, like, basically kicking around in my brain forever that I didn't know what they were going to get used for. But I'm like, we have to do something there. That's and uh, piece, that yeah. one was cool. The, a little behind the scenes on that one was where he landed, unbeknownst to us on the kickflip. The house was was is owned by a f- an, a, like a friend of my friend, and I didn't know this, but like they came out. And I thought they were gonna like kick us out because we're like landing there, and we're being loud. And then he was like, "Oh, like I used to skate," and he's kind of like talking, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, whatever." And then he like threw out somebody's name, and I'm like, "Wait, what?" And then I like texted my buddy, and they're like, "Oh yeah, dude, such and such lives right there." And like we ended up getting him. Uh, at least I hope it showed up. I, I don't work for Thank You. I can't, speak. <laughs> but uh, but box. I think they got it. Yeah, they got him like a box of product and stuff like that because it was like him and his wife and their kid, oh, and they were watching okay. us for a little bit. And it was so cool because in order to skate the stairs, the second set, I think, he, like Tori had to put a little bondo down. Oh, okay. And even though he didn't need it, he left before it, but I think just mentally he yeah. bonded it. Mm-hmm. So we kind of had to be like, and I, and not, and I won't say his name here. Um, so, you know, it's not, not sure, going to yeah. come back to him, but I think he's like an LA city inspector or something. Oh. So, so here we are, like, we're like, we're just going to bondo this crack right there. And we're like, it's for the well, better. He's probably thinking like, oh God, there's no handrails on this thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can do whatever you want. Just yeah. don't mention the handrails. Yeah. We were like, it's for the better of the city. No one will trip on this now. Yeah.